Now then, so I found some land which has potential for a great camp. Um, I want to give a shout out to T Outdoors, Carlisle195 and Kent Survival for giving me the inspiration to do this. Um, as you can see, big woody area. While soaring that, I went through and my, snow, my saw snapped up and fucking took at that. Owie! Oh. oh bloody hell Kemst! Jesus! Fucking hell! What? <laughs> you proper made me jump then. There we have my raised bed. It doesn't look like much, but uh, let's give it the comfort test now, shall we? <laughs> you know what? With a roll mat on here, that'll be sweet. I've just got these two logs on top of there. I'm not bothered about the gaps in the wall because the tarp that I've got will go across this beam and it'll be long enough to be able to go down the back of there as well so it will cover over all them gaps which is pretty cool never again never again am I lifting bricks down here Jesus I mean I've hunted high and low for bricks around here but there is none so I've had to bring them in and I found some uh, artefacts some camp artefacts not QE sort of artifacts, but uh, yeah, artifacts from camp. This here, this massive pole here, that's the very first pole. I might as well show you. All right, this pole, the very first pole I placed in the ground about there, well, just a bit further back, and that held up the original shelter. Shoot this one there. Hi everyone. As you know, we're on lockdown at the moment. I've uh, managed to sneak out for a one nighter. I came in this afternoon, got the tent, I brought all my supplies. Decent place as well. Looks like a bit of old ruins of a, an old building. Go on, I'll show you. Here we go, as you can see, all foundations of a, an old place. Hello, check out this ridiculous hair. There's uh, a bloke in the sun by looks of things. <coughs> oh cool, there was a guy down there with three lads. Spent about 10 minutes talking to him. Said he'd been coming down for a few weeks, his brother showed it him. And he says, oh, I'll get down there. Lads love it. They come down with footballs. I found out it was being digging holes anyway. This bit young lad. <laughs> so, yeah, they're enjoying it. They've got a little fire up go. They cook up some food. Nice to see. Chuck his hand. Said bon voyage. Well, I didn't say bon voyage. I said bye. Well, sliders. There's way in the middle of the Hi. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the weather's turned. Like the worm. down. Like the worm, the weather has turned. Just throw the tarp up over. I don't know why, because we're getting absolutely smoked out. Looks crazy like that. For those that didn't see the build of this shelter, this is how we did the roof.
five years in the making and we've finally got some snow. One of the main reasons why I built this camp was so I could come out in the winter, enjoy the snow, sit here and just watch the snow fall and just listen to the woods. And here we are. It's 10 o'clock Friday morning. I've got a snow day, I've got no work all day, so I'm going to sit here, I'm going to stoke that fire, drink plenty of brews and just enjoy this. Fantastic. <laughs>